hello everyone welcome to code for you in this video we are going to take a look at that how we can uh, change the title bar of a tick enter window how we can manipulate that title bar according to our needs so first of all let me show you what does we are going to do today see we are going to make a tick enter window looking like this here is the title and the background color of our title bar and we are going to override these buttons well these are uh, buttons that are being defined by myself here uh, these are not the default button like this this one oh, okay so now we are going to take a look at how we can do this okay so let's get started first of all let's clear this out and uh, let's start it over okay so let's start first of all let's import the kinter or we can say kinter from kinter import start now we need to create a window uh, so that we can change it let's say win is equal to tk win dot main loop this will going to create a window on our screen see we got our window and we are now going to change it change its title bar but let's change the dimension of window first win dot geometry let's set it to 530 into 100 okay so this looks good and uh, now we need to change its background color first of all uh, let's say win dot config win.config config function is used to configure windows or the config to configure the window which is being displayed okay so let's say bg is equal to uh, gray 17 okay so we we got that grayish background and uh, now here we need to say win dot over override re direct win dot override redirect and we need to set this function to true and when we set this function true and see what happens well uh, it's probably out of the uh, capturing area it's uh, not having you can see any kind of buttons to it okay so how to close this window now because it's not have any kind of close or minimize button here it's a blank window without those buttons or without title bar so to close this open task manager and uh, in the sublime here in the sublime uh, in your text editor go to python and right click click end task this will going to end the process see finished in 32.2 seconds now we need to create a frame over that window so that we can add our widgets to that frame okay so title bar title underscore title bar is equal to frame on window win comma its bg set to set its bg to same as that gray 17 and uh, its style relief is equal to raised okay and we are going to set its width uh, border to 2 or uh, we can say 2 now here we need to pack this title bar we can say title bar dot pack okay and we need to provide the side which will be side equal to left so now this will create a frame on our main window now we need to create the title we need to set the title of that window so for that we are going to use label so we can say title is equal to label we need to provide provide frame here which is title bar okay so now set its text to uh, let's say its text to code for you and uh, it's bg to same as gray 17 and uh, set its foreground color 
it set its foreground color to something like lime okay now we need to pack this title title dot pack and uh, we need to set its side to left okay so this will going to create a title on our screen first of all uh, if we run this now now you can see it's a unknown option relief which needs to be r e l i e f r e l i e f spelling mistake so see if we run this window you can see there's only a label with uh, label code for you but we cannot still cannot change the window we cannot drag and drag the window here and there like we can do with this we cannot do this same with this okay so for that first of all let's close that to close that window just go to in sublime just go to tools and hit cancel build so it will be destroyed okay so now let's create a function to pan or drag that window around okay so for that let's create a new function here we can say def uh, move and uh, we need to pass event to this function and uh, we can say win dot geometry win dot geometry will be uh, plus zero plus one and we need to say dot format event dot x uh, event dot x underscore root comma event dot y underscore root okay so now we need to pack this function we need to bind this function with the title bar so we can say title bar dot bind and uh, we need to provide here we want it to bind with button one's motion okay so we can say b1 hyphen motion comma we need to s mm, provide the name of the that function let's try to run this now okay uh, invalid syntax okay so we need to write this functions in this quotes okay so now uh, it is still not working because we are not uh, providing the title bar to fill to expand Oh, sorry we are not providing this for a frame to fill the whole window so it only fills this uh, title here okay so close this window same with that process and now here we can say in the title bar side equal left plus mm, let's uh, first uh, let's change it to top side equal top comma fill equal both now let's try to run this you can see now i can move the window around with this function okay and now you can clearly see that there are there are no close or minimize button here but there's still a label here okay so let's uh, to close this again go to tools click cancel build now uh, remove this bd2 from here so that there should be no border between this title uh, after that after this title okay so we can say code for you here written here which is our title and now we are going to add buttons like close button or minimize button here okay uh, so we are going to create buttons for the for those button let's say close button is equal to button and we need to set this bus button on our title bar title bar comma its text needs to be close buttons text needs to be in uh, something like x or this x okay so uh, now here we are going to say comma command we need to provide a command to this button we want this button to do actually 
do something so we want this button to close the window so that we don't need to go to task manager to kill this window or to close it from here we are going to just close it with this x button okay so let's say command is equal to uh, win dot destroy okay so now here we need to give it to background color background color which is background color is equal to gray 17 comma uh, fg which means foreground color needs to be red okay so now we need to pack this button dot pack and uh, we are going to provide side is equal to right okay let's try to run this now you can see we got our little button here but it is very small or we can say thin we need it to be a little bigger so let's uh, let's try to close this window by clicking on this button if we click on this button you can see that window destroys which means our button is working correctly we can provide more space here to make it bit longer see the button is now a bit longer okay if we click here it will close the window okay now let's create a, a minimize button we can say min which means minimize button is equal to button and the same on title bar comma its text needs to be uh, an hyphen okay it's uh, like an hy hyphen here uh, and uh, we need to provide its background c color bg is equal to gray 17 and uh, fg is equal to let's say sky blue okay let's pack this button min button dot pack side equal to right let's execute this you can see we got our minimize button as well as our close button here okay so if we click on this button it won't gonna do anything because we haven't applied any command here but we got our title here uh, we got our title our buttons uh, and uh, these are uh, our customized buttons not default buttons okay so which means we can even customize it more according to our needs okay if we want to do something else we can do that also but uh, i'm going to end this video here guys so thanks for watching this video i hope you learned something from this video if you do learn then leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more updates and i'll see you in the next video